Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about resolution and uh, uh, it's 16.9 versus 4.3 stretch resolution. Um, and I'm going to talk about the main benefits, if any. Um, spoiler alert, there's some slight benefits. But before we get started, if you guys would like to join my Discord um, and ask me questions, if you guys have any questions, guide suggestions, anything like that, just let me know and I'll be more than happy to answer them. But basically, uh, I did this. I did this, these tests here with different resolution. I looked at some a few different things. Um, I looked at frames and I looked to see how smooth my game felt, as well as like if it was easier to sh like hit shots here in the range. Um, and so, the resolutions we're talking about specifically are the ones that say 16:9. So basically, that's if you divide this by the, like this is the ratio to these numbers. Um, and so the the bigger these numbers are as well, the more pixels are on your screen. This is how many pixels are on your screen. And so the more pixels on your screen, uh, the, the harder your PC is going to have to work, meaning the less frames you're going to get. So the higher these numbers, the less frames you're going to get. So if you're on 4K up here, then you're going to be getting less frames. Um, that's kind of how it is. Uh, there's really no reason to play Valorant in 4K. Obviously, some games will look very pretty on 4K, but Valorant, that's going to be more of a hindrance than anything. So I'm not going to actually be able to change this because whenever I change it, Streamlabs, it shrinks the size of the game. And it basically just makes it really annoying to watch. But I'm going to explain what I saw here. Um, so for for the four three ones, I tested mainly this one here, 1280 by 960. But I also tested the bottom one, which is like very very small. Um, so these uh, for this one here. So whenever you change it, you see I have FPS at the top. I just kind of looked at my FPS for about 10 15 seconds, and I stayed in the exact same spot, looking at the exact same place. So my frame rate should be consistent. And I noticed that my frames were about 10, 15, or 15, yeah, 10 to 20 frames higher uh, on the 4.3 resolution. So, especially down here, it's like 20 frames higher consistently, um, as well as the game felt a bit more smooth. So, the reason it feels smoother might be because of FPS. It also might be for other reasons, like the game's just slightly like more compact or, you know, stretched. So, like, whenever... Valorant doesn't actually stretch, um, like, so CSGO, CSGO stretches the player models, so basically, if you turn on stretch in CSGO, these these guys actually get bigger, but in, in Valorant, uh, this doesn't happen, the UI does get bigger, so the UI gets bigger, and I, I don't know, I can't remember if anything else got bigger, but um, it, if you go down lower, like this one down here, for example, it does get very pixelated, so um, you do have to deal with that, but... Overall, the main advantage is going to be the FPS. So if you guys would consider this, uh, I think it's something that you might enjoy. I've never played on this, but I might actually start playing on it. Uh, it's kind of be kind of hard to like record with because you know, I basically like your, your guys' screens are all standardly 1920 by 1080 in this year. So like posting a video on YouTube where it has a 4:3 ratio. I don't know if there's a way to like convert it to. 16.9 ratio or something, but I have a feeling the quality would be lower. So, but yeah, um, I would definitely give it a shot. At least see maybe if you guys, if it feels smoother, if it helps you play, maybe just a placebo effect. But hey, if it's just a placebo effect, you know, we're all for it. So um, if you guys have any questions about this, let me know. Because I kind of didn't know much about this uh, until last night. I did a little bit of research on it and thought it'd be an interesting topic to make a video on because I haven't really talked about it yet. Um, and there's also other resolutions. I don't know much about them. So there's 16.9, there's 16.10, which is basically like just slightly different than 1920-1080. Um, and then there's 1.56, which I don't know anything about at all. Um, there's 5.3, which is similar to 4.3, I guess. So yeah, uh, that's going to be about it for the video. It's pretty short. Like I said, I can't really swap it over because it's going to be too hard to record. Um, but yeah, those are the main benefits. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, otherwise, peace. See you guys in the next one.